Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Morning Tales for May 3rd, 2019. And there's a question specifically related to RBI and the bank's exam at the end of the video where I'll be providing you hint for that question and you need to answer that question in the comment section below. Also, I hope that you are reading the current affairs from the website and the Infinity app. We are providing the PDFs there as well. The links are already available in the description. Now, let's begin with the first question for May 3rd. The first question is Chandrayaan 2 is all set to launch in July. What is the name of the lander and rover of Chandrayaan 2? Now, after being deferred several times in the last one year, India's second mission to the moon. So, Chandrayaan is the second mission to moon which would be launched by the ISRO or it's the mission of ISRO that is the Indian Space Research Organization. Now they are all set to launch this mission in July. The question is asking about the lander and rover. Why? Because it has three important modules. The first one being the orbiter. The next is the lander and the third one being the rover. Therefore, it becomes important to remember the name of the lander and the rover of Chandrayaan 2. One more thing which is important is that unlike the uh, first Chandrayaan 1 mission which was launched in October 2008, this Chandrayaan 2 is going to not only orbit around the moon but it's going to land or attempt a soft landing on the moon as well. Therefore, lander becomes important for that. So, the name of the lander is Vikram and the name of the rover is Pragyan. It is expected to be launched uh, during the second week of July and it would be done by the ISRO. Now, this makes me come to the question, the static question, who is the current chairman of ISRO? So, mention your answer in the comment section below and participate with us that who is the chairman of ISRO? Another and very important question that according to these data generated by the Directorate General of Commercial Intelligence and Statistics, which country is the top oil supplier to India? Top oil supplier, that is the crude oil supplier to India. And the duration for which we are uh, calculating this is 2018-19. So, if we look at this data table over here, the bars, so Iraq is the top supplier to the top uh, crude oil supplier to India with approximately 46.61 million tons of crude oil. In the year 2017 to 2018, the supply was 45.74 million tons. So, approximately the increase of 2% is there. For 2018-19, Saudi Arabia stands at 40.33 million tons of crude oil. Earlier, what used to happen that Saudi Arabia was the top supplier of crude oil to India. But now, since 2017-18 duration, Iraq has been on the top position, replacing Saudi Arabia. Even after imposing the uh, US sanctions on Iran's crude oil, Iran was at the third position supplying approximately 23.9 million tons of crude oil to India. So the answer for this question is Iraq is the top oil crude oil supplier to India in the duration 2018-19. Another and quite a to the point question, nothing much to discuss about this question. Who among the following has stepped down as the emperor of Chrysanthemum throne in Japan? So this has happened first time in the Japan that for the first time the monarch has uh, abdicated the throne himself and it has been done by Akihito. So Akihito has stepped down from the as the emperor of the Chrysanthemum throne in Japan and the son of the eldest son of Akihito, Crown Prince Naruhito, he is going to replace Akihito. He would be the new emperor of the Chrysanthemum throne in Japan. Next and very, very important question with which sport Apurvi Chandela is associated with. So, according to the recent ISSF, that is the International uh, Shooting Sports Federation ranking, released on May 1st, 2019, Apurvi Chandela is at the first position in the 10-meter rifle event across the world and as she is at the first position, the second position is again with the Indian, she is Anjum Mudgil. So, both the first and the second positions have been taken over by the Indians, Apurvi Chandela in the second position with Anjum Mudgil and that too in the 10 meter rifle event. So, she created a world record at the ISSF World Cup which was held in 2019. Now, the question which comes here is where was the ISSF World Cup 2019, the Shooting Federation World Cup 2019 held? 
so uh, you need to answer that in the comment section below where was this YSSF World Cup 2019 event held where Apurvi Chandela created the world record by clinching the gold so the question is which day is observed on May 3rd that means today which day is observed let's go to, uh, option wise so world no tobacco day is observed each year on May 31st another day world b day so the first ever world b day was observed on 2018 and this day is observed each year on may 20th next is international day of yoga so when this day is observed what you need to do mention in the comment section when is the international day of yoga observed very famous day and always being promoted by the prime minister narendra modi the last option which is left is world press freedom day which is observed on may 3rd each year now what is important in this question is the world press freedom index that to 2019 index so the first position in the world press freedom index has been taken over by norway second position by finland third by sweden so these are the top 3 countries in terms of world press freedom index 2019 now coming to india's rank so india ranked at 140th position out of 180 countries so top 3 countries india's position that is 140 and the 180th rank so what was the last country or which country was at the 180th position so it was turkmenistan moving on to the last question how many banking ombudsman offices are there in the country so before you are going to answer this question i like to tell you that rbi has released the annual report on the banking ombudsman so this report was for the financial year of rbi remember the financial year of rbi from 2017 to 2018 they actually received 163590 complaints in this duration through their banking ombudsman scheme I'll be discussing about this banking ombudsman scheme in the next video, the detailed video uh, re related to this banking ombudsman. So do watch that video. But before that, you need to answer or give it a try in the comment section below that how many banking ombudsman offices are there in country as of the data released by the annual report of RBI. So this is all for the morning tales for May third, two thousand nineteen, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. more importantly do not forget to press the bell icon as it will help you to receive the notification as and when the video is posted on youtube thank you so much for watching the video